Delta P. A video that circulated in recent years depicts a violent underwater phenomenon known as Delta P. The brief clip shows a crab nearing a small cut in an underwater gas pipe. As it nears this opening, it appears to be sucked towards it. The creature then flails and struggles for a brief moment as it is held against the opening by the pull of the pressure change before being ripped through the tiny crack entirely. The term Delta P is short for differential pressure. This terrifying phenomenon poses a particular hazard to commercial divers and underwater construction workers, many of whom fear it above anything else. Delta P is responsible for two out of three commercial diving fatalities and is well known amongst divers for the grisly nature with which it dispatches those who stray too close. Differential pressure causes a rapid and powerful rush of water from an area of high pressure to one of lower pressure, which can draw objects into gaps that would otherwise be impossibly small for them to pass through. The force of the flow through the bottleneck can amount to as much as hundreds of pounds per square inch. Delta P situations commonly occur around thrusters, intakes, pumps, and when water floods into a gas void, such as an underwater pipeline. One devastating example occurred in 2015, when 39-year-old occupational diver Luke Seabrook was making a routine inspection of a sluice gate at the Nova Scotia Power Dam. Tragically, the gate had not closed properly, and Luke became pinned to an opening, unable to escape the pull of the water flowing into the reservoir. Underwater welders are at particularly high risk of encountering Delta P. In February 2022, a group of five divers was carrying out maintenance work in the Gulf of Perea when a safety valve failed, creating a powerful vacuum that sucked all five into the pipe. While one was rescued, the others remained missing for days before finally being found dead, crushed inside the pipe. As a part of their training, divers are now shown cautionary educational videos explaining how these accidents can happen. In these videos, disturbing animations reveal how divers can and have become trapped and drowned or forced through narrow openings through which no human could survive. On many occasions, the force has been strong enough to tear divers off their umbilical safety lines, leaving them entirely at the mercy of the forces of Delta P. On Luke Seabrook's death, a consultant for the Occupational Diving Safety Association said, quote, You don't see it, you don't hear it. It's usually too late. DDT Dump 3,000 feet beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Southern California is a huge number of mysterious barrels. Only in recent years has the sinister truth about these containers come to light. From the 1930s to the 1970s, a number of local industrial companies produced vast quantities of toxic waste, which were allowed to be dumped into the ocean at 14 different sites. The discarded materials ranged from military explosives to radioactive waste and other chemicals. The government either approved of the dumping or disregarded it until the passing of the Ocean Dumping Act in 1972. One of the most devastating chemicals was DDT, a colorless crystalline compound originally developed as an insecticide that was widely used until people became aware of its terrifying environmental impact. Rather than simply controlling insect populations, DDT was found to be killing vast numbers of birds and fish and recent studies have shown that even the granddaughters of women exposed to DDT can be affected with higher risks for cancer and other diseases. In 2021, divers examined an unprecedented dump of DDT on the ocean floor near the Californian coast. Marine scientists investigated and found more than 25,000 barrels believed to contain DDT. Using advanced underwater drones, they scoured 36,000 acres of the ocean floor Estimates of the actual quantity of DDT dumped at this location, just 12 miles from Los Angeles, are between 350 and 700 tons. Despite having been dumped into the ocean decades ago, the poisonous compound appears not to have broken down and to have leached into the surrounding ecosystem. DDT can now be found in high levels in ocean floor sediments. Furthermore, 
Toxic levels of DDT have been found in the blubber of bottlenose dolphins, and they are expected to suffer defects that span multiple generations. A spokesperson for the Marine Mammal Center said they had observed in the dolphins that, quote, about 25% of adults and subadults have cancer. The true extent of the damage caused by this massive DDT dump remains to be seen, but it is expected to substantially affect both marine and human life for years to come. Disturbingly, the barrels of DDT have severely decayed over the decades, with their brittle nature now making removal and cleanup near impossible. Diver's Cemetery On the Egyptian coast of the Red Sea is a diving location known as the Blue Hole, a submarine sinkhole. The Blue Hole has earned a reputation for being the deadliest diving location in the world. Around 20 feet beneath the surface is a small opening that divers call the saddle, leading to an 85-foot-long tunnel known as the arch. The ceiling of the arch dips to a depth of 180 feet, and the bottom of it drops into the darkness to an astonishingly deep 3,300 feet. The Blue Hole site is reported to have more diver fatalities than anywhere else in the world, having claimed as many as 200 lives in recent years, although the records have not been accurately kept. The nearby shore is cluttered with plaques and memorials for those lost to the Blue Hole. Nevertheless, the fact that this vast hole is home to coral and reef fish and accessible from the land makes it popular with intrepid divers. Amongst several other factors, one of the most deadly elements of the dive is gas management, as any minor delay can be the difference between needing a single tank of oxygen and needing two. Many divers have run out of gas before having time for decompression, leading to excruciating and potentially fatal sickness. The most notable death was that of Yuri Lipsky, a 22-year-old Russian diver who inadvertently filmed his own demise using a helmet camera. The video shows his uncontrolled and involuntary descent until he lands on the seabed at a depth of 380 feet. At this depth, Lipsky may have succumbed to nitrogen narcosis, impairing his judgment and causing him to hallucinate and panic wildly. This state of confusion is likely the reason why he removes his regulator and drowns. His body was recovered the next day. The Egyptian Chamber for Diving and Water Sports now stations a police officer at the entrance to the hole on a permanent basis to check that all who enter are adequately certified and prepared for what lies ahead. Despite its morbid legacy, the Diver's Cemetery, as it is known to some, continues to be a popular diving location. Methane Eruption The Bermuda Triangle is an infamous location where many vessels, including aircraft, have suddenly vanished for no apparent reason. Since 1964, when the term Bermuda Triangle was coined, people have attributed the disappearances to many different things, even supernatural phenomena. Various attempts to explain the triangle have related to the city of Atlantis, the magnetic properties of the area's geology, and even alien abduction. However, it is now believed that one natural phenomenon may offer a plausible explanation. Norwegian researchers have found that gigantic methane bubbles escaping from massive seabed craters may be to blame. These craters which measure up to 2,600 feet in width and 150 feet in depth, may occasionally emit bubbles big enough to sink ships. The bubbles are created by the decay of organic matter beneath the seabed until they build up a pocket of pressure, which then escapes. In the process, the bubbles lower the density of the water, making it less buoyant, thereby causing floating objects to suddenly sink. If large enough, a methane bubble could cause the sea to swallow a ship of any size, along with every last trace of its lifeboats and passengers, in just a brief window of time. Despite the plausibility of this explanation, it is only theoretical. Skepticism remains for several reasons. Firstly, these bubbles have not actually been observed at this particular location. Additionally, it doesn't explain the abnormal number of aircraft vanishing over the Bermuda Triangle, or the individual people who have been said to go missing from ships in the area. While the methane explosions may account for some of the lost vessels, mystery still shrouds the Bermuda Triangle. 
lost nuclear reactor and warheads. The K-278 Komsomolets is a nuclear-powered attack submarine conceived by the Soviet Navy and deployed in 1986. A one-of-a-kind vessel, the K-278 is renowned for having a depth rating much higher than that of her predecessors and remained a state-of-the-art military submarine until one fateful and terrible day. The K-278 was on her third operations patrol, and all seemed well, until on the 7th of April, 1989, while sailing off the coast of Norway at a depth of just 1,100 feet, a tragic event occurred. It began with a fire breaking out in the sub's engineering compartment, which resulted from a short circuit, even though all watertight doors were closed. The fire spread ferociously throughout several compartments of the K-278, passing through penetrations in the bulkheads created for cables to pass through. The onboard nuclear reactor failed, and the crew carried out an emergency ballast tank blow, which surfaced the submarine around 11 minutes after the fire broke out. As K-278 continued to burn, most of the crew abandoned the ship after making distress calls and tried to remain afloat in the choppy waters. Several hours later, the K-278 sank, eventually reaching a depth of 5,500 feet and leaving her crew stranded in the rough seas. Many men died from hypothermia before rescue arrived, around 81 minutes after the submarine sank. 27 crewmen survived, and 42 died. K-278 had been carrying torpedoes armed with nuclear warheads. Because of this, the Soviets tried to locate it. It took them two months to find the wreck, and when they did, it came to light that substantial radioactive leaks had occurred. Studies later confirmed that plutonium was leaking from one of the torpedoes. In 2019, researchers tested a seawater sample, finding radiation levels to be over 100,000 times higher than was expected. This damage, however, is likely to pale in comparison to that done to the seabed, and fishing in this area of the Norwegian Sea may remain impossible for another 700 years. The K-278 remains on the seabed, coated in contaminated algae, where it continues to leak into the surrounding waters. Moving or containing it would be such a monumental task that efforts have yet to be made. Comment below and let me know which of these underwater nightmares is the most terrifying to you. As always, thank you for watching Dark 5. Like and subscribe to continue exploring the greatest mysteries of this world and beyond.